Hello. In the previous step, we did the home page of Constra theme. We converted that into Vue.js. In this part, we are going to create an API in Laravel to create projects so we can display them in projects page. So this is the projects page. And we will create project from Laravel API and we will display them here. So first you can visit laravel.com and go to get started. First we need to do the installation. You can run this command to create a new Laravel project. I'm going to copy it and open command prompt. I have created a folder and inside this folder I have a web folder. Web folder will have all the Vue.js code. I have also uploaded this folder on GitHub. I will mention its link in the description of this video. So you can check it out. So we are going to open command prompt in this folder directly. So I am going to right click and open terminal. And in this fold, in this terminal, I am going to run this command. And I just need to change this parameter to API. So this will create a folder named API and install Laravel project in it. And if you get an error like this, allowed memory size of this byte exhausted, you simply first need to remove your API folder which was created. And then again you have to run the command but this time you need to prepend composer memory limit is equal to minus one. And then run again. Now it should work fine. After the installation is successful, you can go inside the API folder and run the command php artisan serve. So this will start the server at this port, you can check it. So Laravel is working fine now. Now we need to set up the database configurations. So I'm going to open this API folder in another instance of Sublime Text. New window, merge windows, and open API folder inside it. Now I will have .env file, and I'm going to set the database configurations here. So let's open my PHP MyAdmin. So I'm going to create a database name, let's say Constra, and in my configurations I will set its name to Constra username will be root and password will be root as well and the database port will be 8889 in my case and then I'm going to refresh the cache php artisan config clear and then I'm going to start the server again so make sure it is working fine so now we need to create a table name projects where I'm going to create project so I run a command php artisan make migration create projects table so a migration should be created inside database migrations create projects so the project will have id and name that will be the title of project and description and the type of description should be text it will be a long text and I'm going to use all these fields for example if I open any project I am going to use client and all these fields so I'm going to paste all of them one by one. Client architect location 
stories. Year completed, and it can be an integer and categories. And after that, I'm going to run this migration. So I'm going to run PHP artisan migrate. So this should create all the necessary tables in our database along with our new table projects. Now the table is created. Now we need to create a model for it. So I'm going to create a command, a command PHP artisan make model project. A model should be created in app models project so it will have a public table field and it will have the name of the table that will be projects and it will have timestamps to true so it will return the created at and updated at fields so these are the only two that are required for now. Now we need to uh, create a route in our P API. So go to routes API and then create API. And we need to create all our routes like projects, create projects, fetch and projects, fetch single, for example and projects delete for example so we will group all the routes inside this projects so write route group first parameter will be an array and set a prefix and prefix will be projects second parameter will be a function and here we will set our all routes that will be prefixed by projects route post create and we will create a controller name projects controller and it will have a function create command these out so first we need to create this controller php artisan make controller controller should be created in HTTP controllers here so we need to include it here so we are going to copy its namespace and use it here use namespace and then the name of controller so this should work fine now in this function First we need to first we need to create this function public function create and then we will be accepting all these values inside this API. So we will create a validator and we will say validator dot make and request all. So it will validate all fields name is required and description is required and so all the fields fields will be required Location size year completed and categories. And we need to save it in a variable validator. And then we need to check if validation passes validator fails. And if it fails, 
and we are going to return a response in JSON format. Status to error and message will be the error we are having in validation. Errors all and zero index means the first error. Otherwise, we are going to create a project. So we'll include over this model use app models and then the name of class project and create a new instance of it and set all these values which we are receiving from API projects project name is equal to request name and same goes for all the other fields and finally we will save the project so it is going to create a new row in projects folder and finally we will send the response in json format but this time it will be a success response so its status will be success and message will be project has been created so let's test test this in uh, postman I'm going to create a new API its URL will be starting from this API projects create and it will be a post request so let's check from here we need to start the server on Laravel server now it should work yes so it is giving error that all the fields will be required so go to your body tag and xww form url encoded i'm going to set the name as my project and description as my projects in description and all the other fields as well Now we need to run again. Location field is required. The L must be small. The size same goes for size. Sorry about that. Project has been created. Now check in your database. Refresh. So a new project has been created. Another API we are going to create is to fetch all the projects that has been created. So I am going to create another API. This is done. Route post fetch in projects controller. And the method name will also be fetch. So let's create this folder uh, let's create this method in projects controller and it's going to use the project model order by id descending and get it will save it in projects and i'm, I'm simply going to return them again in json response 
status will be success and message will be data has been fetched and the projects array so this will return all the records we need to create this in our uh, postman as well i'm simply going to copy this paste here and change it to fetch and change it to post and then we are going to run so that data has been fetched and i am also going to change the name of apis in postman change this to fetch projects and this to create project So all the projects are fetched. Now we need to display them in our Vue.js. So I'm going to convert this into a projects link where we where we will display all the projects. So in your web folder, source components layouts app header, search for projects and remove this uh, drop down. Because we will not be using a drop down and remove this angle down icon and remove the drop down toggle attribute and also the class and remove this drop down class as well and convert this anchor tag to router link. And change the href to 2 and here we will set the route as projects now we need to create this route in our main.js file so create a new object path and this is the route and component will be projects component we will import this component here And we will create this inside our components folder. Create an empty template tag. Script tag. Export default. And name will be projects company. So right now check if it's working fine. Okay. Now we need to move all the code from here on this component. So the header and footer are already included. We need to open the in this file projects.html theme projects.html. We need to open it in code editor. and uh, this is the header top bar this is the header this is the banner that we are going to use you can simply copy it and paste here and to set the background variable we will again do the same we bind style is equal to it will be an object of background image give it a javascript style syntax and url it will be a variable require and inside this it will have single quote and then we will set the path our images are in assets folder so this should work fine Will be add. So the background image is displayed. Now we need to move to the main section and we will copy all and paste below this banner area. Give it a tab. 
So now we need to call in Ajax and fetch all the projects using our API we just created. So to call in Ajax in Vue.js, we will be using a module named Axios. So we will install it using npm install Axios and we will also use sweet alert to, to display pop-up if there is any error and restart the app. So now in our projects component first we need to include both of these modules we just, we just installed. Import Axios from Axios import and this is a sweet alert 2 so I will be using a short name for sweet, sweet alert 2 from sweet alert 2 and when this component is mounted we will call a method name get projects so now we will create this method in our methods object it will be an async because we will be calling an ajax request in it we will be using a gate to call an ajax and axios dot post because it will be a post request first parameter will be the url of the request so i will be using a global variable you can create global variable in vue.js using this app object app.config.global properties dot your variable name i am setting api url and its url will be the path of laravel api api so i'm going to use this in my axios object you can access your global variables using this dot axios and the path will be projects fetch and second parameter will be the font data object we are sending sending null because there isn't, isn't any parameters that we need to send and we will save this response in a variable name response and this API returns a response in status message and objects so in axios we have the data object so we will set the condition if response dot data so this data will return this complete object so we will put the condition on status variable if the status is equal to success then we will simply right now log the log the projects that we are receiving from the API otherwise we will display an error using sweet alert I will simply name it to sweet alert not to dot fire first parameter will be the title of pop-up I am setting it as error and second will be the message response dot data we are sending from message and third parameter will be the type of sweet alert so it will be an error type so open your one prompt uh, sorry inspect element and see what data you are receiving so it is returning and I'm simply going to remove it uh, empty it and refresh the page so it is returning all the fields that we are uh, sending from ajax request now we need to display them instead of these images so we are going to create a data object it will return a projects array so we'll, when the response from ajax is successfully received we will simply update the local projects array this dot projects is equal to response dot data dot objects so it will update this projects array now we need to render this projects array so here we are displaying um, these are the these are the radios and this is a single project yes so first i am going to remove all the other objects uh, other divs i am simply going to need one div to, to loop an array I 
isolate it so only one is remaining now we need to uh, loop through it so we will do v4 is equal to project in projects this will be our local array and this will be the object that we are going to use inside this for loop first we will set the first we will set the title the text is equal to project dot name and this will be project categories the text is equal to project dot categories and the text is going to override the values inside the node so i'm going to remove it make it empty and change the router link to display the project detail router link and to and since we are going to pass the project id which will be a dynamic so we are not simply going to use to but we will use v bind to and the static value will go in single quote which will be uh, let's say project and here we will pass the value as project dot id uh, right now i am going to set the static uh, image well later on we will change it with our dynamic image so it is displaying my project name which i have set while creating and the categories which i have set and when i click on it it will move to the project one link and this will be an id we will create this route later on so all the projects are now fetched so we can remove this for now we will do that later so all the projects are uh, fetched now the image will be done later now we need to create this detail route to display all the details and it will open this page and this curve will be done later of course so we are going to create this route project 